Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, as I mentioned uh, previously, we are planning at some point in the not too far distant future of uh, selling this house, which is probably a bit much for us uh, these days, and moving into uh, probably condominium. <clears throat> but um, the things that you find, <laughs> the things that you find uh, when you are cleaning up and uh, essentially gathering up stuff that you don't need anymore and getting rid of it. You know, I had lunch with a friend of mine um, last week, uh, another videographer, and uh, he's a little bit older than me, and he and his wife have uh, moved out of their house, and he called it the purge, and that is just getting rid of all the stuff that you just don't want to take with. Very interestingly, his wife is friends with my wife. His wife and, my, and I always thought we looked familiar, um, but couldn't place it until I walked into my previous high school reunion and like the first person I saw was her and we looked at each other and went, now I know why you look familiar. Small world, anyway. Anyway, getting back to the point of this is things that you find when you're cleaning up or getting ready to move. And uh, as I've mentioned, my background, uh, educational background is in science with a master's degree in molecular biology. And then I also mentioned that I uh, worked for a time in the, in the 1990s for a stock photo library here in Chicago that specialized in medical and scientific healthcare type images. And I remained on very good terms with them after I left. So in the late 90s, it might have been about 97, 98, um, I got a call from one of the owners of that agency, and he says, uh, do you know what homocysteine is? Homocysteine. And I said, well, I imagine it's something like cysteine. Now, cysteine is an amino acid. All of our proteins have cysteine in them. It's one of two sulfur-containing amino acids. And um, what he said was, well, Newsweek is looking for a photo of a model of uh, homocysteine. Now, homocysteine, homo meaning like homologous, is similar to cysteine, but uh, it has an extra carbon atom. So anyway, he tells me uh, that uh, Newsweek is looking for a photo of a model, and uh, if I can build a model and photograph it. It's a pretty good chance they're going to run it. And it was for like probably a two page spread. So we're talking not a trivial amount of money. So and this is before uh, molecular modeling programs on a computer were actually affordable. So I went to the University of Illinois Medical School bookstore and I picked up a ball and stick molecular modeling kit. And it is right here. It was in a closet. And I built a model of homocysteine and hung it from the ceiling in uh, one of our rooms with a very light test fishing line and photographed it from multiple uh, angles. And here it is. So I, I actually never took this thing apart. Um, I had to, the, 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 the black is carbon, the blue is nitrogen, yellow's hydrogen, and the red is um, oxygen. There was no sulfur. So I had to paint one of the, um, I guess I might have used oxygen, might have made more sense to use uh, nitrogen, but I had to paint it a different color. Uh, so that's actually right here. But essentially this is a model of a molecule of homocysteine. So what makes it an amino acid? And it's not one that gets incorporated into your uh, proteins, but you have an amino group here, nitrogen, the what's called the chiral carbon atom. But if you notice this carbon atom has four distinct groups attached to it, which means that if you put this in a mirror, you can you get what's called a different isomer, stereoisomer. Um, there are mirror images of these. Uh, if my memory serves me correctly, 
Uh, all of the amino acids in our uh, proteins are the L form. And uh, I probably should have looked that up before. Uh, it's been a long time. Anyway, the point. Why did Newsweek want to use this in a photo? Well, it turns out, and I think this is something that was just being discovered about then, is if you have high levels of homocysteine in your blood, it's a risk factor for coronary disease. So um, that was going to be an article that they were running. So I went ahead and did this. And, some, and this was film. It's done on transparencies. And... Um, Newsweek ended up using this photo of this molecule, and they used it in three different editions, one of the uh, international editions. It was a two-page spread. What they did was they kind of put a heart, picture of a heart behind it, ghosted back. Um, but up until a couple of years, a couple of three years ago, this, this was the highest um, dollar amount uh, subject that I had ever photographed because um, I think I, I cleared around $1,200 for that in the late 90s for editorial use. Um, so anyway, I'm going to pull this thing apart and package it all up. It's probably going to go on eBay because I figure somebody could use this for their kid. Oh, and uh, oh, should mention what makes this homocysteine and not cysteine? So it's an amino acid. So again, you've got this uh, amino group here and a carboxyl or carboxylic acid group right here and the chiral carbon and then the side chain and this is what's this is this part here is the same in all amino acids and then the side chain is what's different so what's what makes this uh, homocysteine and not cysteine well it's got an extra carbon atom so if I pull off this carbon atom and then pop this back on this is actually the amino acid cysteine so it's that extra carbon atom that makes the difference um, funny thing of course technology marches on right you can get an app for the iPad and I'm guessing any tablet called Molecular Constructor. So I uh, I put together a homocysteine molecule in Molecular Constructor uh, in under five minutes. Really a uh, fun thing here is that you can take this and you can uh, hold this up to you can rotate it around you can magnify it um, yeah, here. This is fun. You can rotate it. You can move it. If you uh, want to zoom in, you can do that. You can zoom back out. You can actually save this to your photo library, although it's only a four megapixel picture. But I imagine, and what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try and put it into uh, Photoshop and see if the super resolution upsizing works for this. Of course, it's very simple. So four megapixels is probably all you need for a lot of things. Um, but the one thing is you can't actually take it and hold it in your hand. Um, and play around with it that way. So if I want to turn this back into almost sustain. I pop that carbon back on and put my homocysteine molecule back together. Oh, yeah, the other thing is the wooden bonds. These are the bonds between the atoms. Um, I actually painted them white so they would look good. Um, so anyway, I thought people might be a little interested in that, this type of thing. Um, you know, when you're shooting stock photography and an uh, opportunity comes along like that, uh, you grab it. So um, yeah, Lots of fun. Um, the other thing, though, about apps is this is what's called a ball and stick model. And what you can do is actually go and ch into the app and change it into what's called space filling. 
and a space filling model, uh, model actually looks like this. So this is, uh, oops, I don't mean to be, I'm grabbing an atom and moving it. That, 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 that's not good. But so this is kind of a representation of sort of the uh, way the atoms are arranged without having it look kind of artificial. Um, so anyway, fun geeky stuff. Hope you thought that was interesting. If you did and you liked it, hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Um, gonna try and put up more interesting stuff regularly. Um, if you have any comments or questions, pop them down below. I try to respond to those on a timely basis. And I'm Todd Banner. I will see you next time.